Hello friends, Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church. I'm going to start things off by acknowledging that uh, it's the day after the election. We've, we've come through another election season. And of course, as with any election, there's got to be some mixed emotions out there. Um, there are some who are feeling pleased with the results, and then there are some who are feeling disappointed. Wherever you find yourself today, I want, us, I want to remind us all that as followers of Jesus, our hope and our guiding principles, don't, uh, they don't ultimately rest on any political leader, right? Our hope and our guiding principles rest on Christ. Our mission is unchanged. We're called to walk in love, grace, and kindness, no matter who holds office. So this morning, I wanted to share with you that I've been spending time with uh, some of our youngest ones, our preschoolers. Uh, today was our monthly story time together. And I thought I'd share, you know, some of that experience with you today. I always like to share uh, the books we read together. Um, each month, we have a different theme based on the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So today's theme or November's theme is goodness. Um, and generosity also goes along this, along with this goodness and generosity. And so, uh, I read to them a story out of a storybook Bible, which I just, here it is. The Frolic Preschool Bible. That's the, the storybook Bible I've been reading with them. And I read to them the story about Jesus feeding the crowd. Uh, so I share with them that story where Jesus um, received a generous uh, offer from a boy uh, to share his lunch so that others, the thousands of people gathered there could have something to eat. And it was the miracle of the, the multiplication of all that food to feed everybody. And then I read to them a story uh, called Porcupine's Pie. It's by Laura Rinald with illustrations by Jenny Poe. This is a really charming book. It's a story about uh, porcupine. And she sets out to bake her famous pie for fall feast day, which, you know, we know of as Thanksgiving. And she uh, has to take her cranberries to the river to wash them before she can make her pie. And on the way, she meets friends who need help finding ingredients so that they can make their dishes as, uh, as contributing to the feast. Uh, and rather than keeping all her supplies for herself, she shares with her friends, even though it means she might not have enough left for her pie but her generosity inspires others. And so together they create something wonderful for their feast. Not her famous cranberry pie, but uh, something even better called friendship pie. Uh, I read this story with the children. It was really fun to engage with them and to just uh, spend some time with them and uh, their generous their generous hearts. Um, I read this story on the app called Hoopla, which is a, an app I use through our public library, Lincoln Public Libraries. I'm just so grateful that we have our, our public libraries and the way they provide free access to amazing books and resources for everyone. So I encourage you to, to check it out. And um, let's uh, look to Porcupine as uh, her example and let it remind us that of the importance of generosity, especially in challenging times. Even when we feel disappointed or divided, we can choose love and goodness like porcupine. Maybe we go forward with generous hearts and love for one another, embodying the love Jesus calls us to share. So thanks for tuning in once again. Um, and remember that God loves you. So do I. And I'll see you Sunday.